Oh boy, guys, Venezuela plunges into darkness amid widespread outage, the biggest yet in a country where power failures have become common. Is that true? We don't know. Uh, President Nicolas Maduro blasted the outage as an electrical war directed by the United States in a statement on Twitter, um, but no proof. Well, what do you guys think? Venezuela plunges into darkness, perhaps to create what the um, what the information minister said. Right wing extremists intent on creating pandemonium by leaving the South American nation without power for several days. I don't need proof. Oh, but. I can't say definitively, but my hunch, yeah, they blew the grid in Venezuela. Yeah, it's very easy to do when you have these uh, silent weapons called frequencies. The outage comes as Venezuela is in the throes of political struggle between Maduro and opposition leader Juan Guaido. What did I say? In the video that I posted earlier today, a false flag attack would be coming because, well, their attempt to get Juan Guaido into the presidency, into, uh, you know, to be the president, to remove Maduro, was losing yet again. The United States has been trying for two decades to get control of Venezuela. Oh, they failed, they failed, they failed. Trump is going to get that job done. But since Juan Guaido was still not getting the support needed to get him as president to remove Maduro, something would be happening. Unbelievable. Guaido took to Twitter to blast Maduro for the outage. How do you tell a mom who needs to cook, an ill person who depends on a machine, a, a worker who should be laboring, that we are in a powerful country without electricity? Venezuela is clear that the light will return with the end of usurpation. Venezuela's electrical system was once the envy of Latin America, but it has fallen to a state of disrepair after years of poor maintenance and mismanagement. High-ranking officials have been accused in U.S. court proceedings of looting government money earmarked for the electrical system, kind of like what we do here. Um, the nation is experiencing hyperinflation projected to reach a mind-boggling 10 million percent this year. Is, the nation is grappling with food and medical shortages and has lost about 10% of its population to migration in the past few years. All right, you can read the rest of this crap. Uh, but the information minister, Rodriguez, said, what's the intention? to submit the Venezuelan people to various days without electricity to attack, to mistreat, so that vital areas would be without power. Pro-government officials frequently blame power outages on Venezuela's opposition, accusing them of attacking power substations with Molotov cocktails, though they re re rarely provide any evidence. Yeah, and I love the evidence that we provide here in the United States. It's called lies. So here are some of the pictures, Venezuela. But Please take note of how the Venezuelans look. Take note of how they look. Huh. So, this is Caracas. Do any of these people look like they're starving? They're starving. And Juan Guaido, his tweet, a mother who has to cook a meal. I thought they had no food. Any of these people look malnourished. 
that they're starving? No, they look actually quite healthy. So subway stations are down. They have to take buses. They're in the dark. Yeah, I'd say that the United States attacked Venezuela, blew out their grid.